<laughs> what is going on, everybody? I am Melted Gore, and I am going to make a Melted Gore website, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Uh, and I figured it'd be really cool to do like a walkthrough of it. And uh, so I normally use this program called um, Taco HTML, which I uh, really like. You can easily change everything. There's live preview, etc. Um, but I am going to start transitioning over to brackets because Taco HTML is no longer being supported or updated or anything. Uh, so I'm going to start using brackets, uh, which I've never used before, so bear with me. Um, I mess around with the interface like I know where the preview button is and stuff. But uh, we'll worry about that I uh, later. I already made a inside my melted gore folder in my OneDrive I made a gores folder for all of the different gores that I have uh, and then a website folder which is what we're going to use inside of brackets uh, before I get started I'm uploading a video right now how to make some YouTube thumbs so check that out uh, before let's get that folder open so we're going to open folder <coughs> <coughs> sorry um, going to open the website folder. Why isn't it not opening? Alright, there we go. Uh, and we're going to make new and we are going to rename this. Come on. Let me rename you. See, I'm already doing terrible. Do I have to add code to this first? Don't save. What the hell? What the hell? Why can't I rename this? I don't want preferences. What the fuck, Mac? Alright, I don't understand why this is happening. Open folder. Open. You know what? I'm going to want a folder inside that folder because if I ever make revisions first, no. Uh, let's just call it simple. No, let's just call it website. Website instead of website folder so that way I can make, let's do first. First website. Um, and that's inside the website folder. So let's just open the second website folder. There we go. So that'll be our root folder. And just so you can see, this is kind of my mock-up. It's basically going to be a website that uh, just shows my latest videos. Got some social icons. I drew this by hand really quick. Um, kind of an idea of mobile portrait and landscape, uh, PC, and then tablet portrait and landscape. Uh, I'm going to try and make it as responsive as possible. I'd like to make an app too so it's a push notification when you uh, actually I'm going to keep that there duh. Uh, I'm going to I'd like to make an app eventually too so you can get push notifications if you want to keep track of when I add a new uh, a new video new. Alright we're just going to start real quick even though this isn't freaking working Damn, I can't type today. That's wonderful. Um, and let's just save it as index. Oh, now it's coming through as HTML. Okay, so we're good now. Uh, give us some room here to work in. And we're going to make some head tags. And inside that, our title tag. Uh, we're just going to name this melted. Uh, melted gore with the line gamer. Let's do vlogger gamer game collector and independent. Oh my god. I know no one's ever going to see that 
in their enti like entire so that's the title there it'll be up there because I didn't add an E man I am losing it today it's like the worst day to be making a video um, really I can't refresh it alright this is annoying me let's make a new window and minimize okay alright so there it is up there so that's working I'm gonna make a uh, favicon of the main gamer gore at some point as well um, so the next thing is uh let's see a meta oh, what is it a car set uh equals u t f eight all right so we got that in there and we're going to download man it keeps opening that freaking window I need to keep this open uh we're going to get bootstrap uh, bootstrap basically resets all the default um code to um to basically zero uh so you don't have to do it yourself and you run into less problems uh i find it just be quick it's quick easy and doesn't take much time at all so let's go to downloads and css so we're gonna move let's get another finder window move that up there jump into our website website folder and let's add css folder and the damn my mouse is skipping too it's really annoying me okay all right so we got all that going um so that's all ready you know what i'm also going to do though just to save a tiny bit of time And of course it doesn't have it. It just makes it a pain in the ass because now I have to... There we go. Basic template. I guess I can just use this. Yeah, I forgot my doc type anyway. Uh, so let's just add this to the end. Take that out. Delete all that. There we go. And put our title after meta. Get rid of this title. don't really need these uh, actually let's keep that there because it's got some code here we can uncomment out for Internet Explorer which I might do now we'll get rid of hello world and we'll just start working from down here and bootstrap we got our bootstrap let's make a new document and we're going to save. Uh, let's do a different folder so I can keep Bootstrap separate. And we're going to call this one Styles. And this is where I'll put all of my styles in. Oop. Uh, main styles.css. I'm going to camel case everything because I'm just used to it. We're also going to get Flexbox. Uh, let's see. Nope. That's not where I want it. Where is Flexbox? Is there a download for Flexbox? God, I haven't used this in so long. Uh, I don't think there actually is. Is there? There's got to be. What the hell? I thought there was a download for Flexbox. Ah. Latest version. Open. All right. How do I implement it? Uh, 
Isn't there a download for Flex? There it is. Yeah, because this is what that lets you do. See how they just scale by themselves, those boxes? Fluid, simple syntax. Uh, offset, auto widths, um, nested grids, alignment. So this is going to be really important when I implement my YouTube videos. I want them to go into a column when it's a skinny screen and then like a grid when it is a bigger screen. <sighs> auto width. Probably what I'm going to want the most. Uh, I'd imagine. Unless they've got like a side by side thing. Oh, distribution. There we go. There we go. That's what I need. Distribution. So that way they're evenly spaced. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. My mouse is skipping. It's so fucking annoying. Uh, I'm going to quit Photoshop. We're not going to need that for a while. Maybe that'll help with my mouse. I've got so much stuff running. Uh, and I'm only on my MacBook, so. Uh, new Finder window. And we need downloads. And we're going to unzip Flexbox. And, ooh, there's a lot here. We're going to open this. I'm going to open this with Taco just so I can quickly copy that out without screwing up my layout there. Wow. Um, okay. Why isn't that in its own style sheet? What the fuck, dude? All right, where, what do I need? Okay, maybe I don't, I just, I'm not going to do that. Uh, there we go, that looks better. Um, Includes distribution. Where is it linking? I don't see where it's linking the style sheets. What the hell? Alright, whatever. I'm just going to grab these. Holy shit, my mouse is lagging around it's really annoying um put those in the same folder javascript i'm going to need javascript um cancel i've already got a folder for javascript duh ah damn it mouse Don't think I need anything else. Grunt file, I actually might. Did I need to put anything else in my... Go to GitHub real quick, because there might be more explanation. There we go. Actually, no, I'd rather have this. And that's for Flexbox. <clears throat> I'm going to add them both. Alright, so let's save that. Let's get main styles going here. Let's 
just quickly preview this, make sure we got everything going. Uh, all right, so we got that going while well, we can close out of there. We can minimize the uploading video. Uh, all right, cool. So we, where do I even begin? Um, crap, I do need that open. Wrong one. This is the page because that had distribution. And that was quicker to get to exactly. Didn't want to be scrolling forever. Alright, let's just paste. Whoa, I want to be a little bit spaced out here. Okay. Alright, so those are all aligned there. Okay. And we are going to. I shouldn't do it this way because it's kind of not the best way of doing it. And that's not even centering. Okay, so that's going to be an issue. We'll figure that out later. Um, so what do we want to do here? I know we're going to need an images folder. And I know I'm going to want my banner in here. But the thing we gotta, oops, I wanted a new finder window. The thing we gotta keep in mind though is I wanna start out making the mobile site because, oops, that's my game development stuff. We're gonna want the banner and we're going to want the gamer. Oops. Copy. And. Nope, not the YouTube one, just the regular one. Nope, that's not it. I'm going to have to copy this, paste that here. I've got different banners for different things, uh, but I'm going to want to, I'm going to want to, you know what? No, I'll have to do it differently for that, but I'll worry about it later because all we really need is the gamer picture, uh, but we're going to, Let's see. Gamer photo. I'm liking this uh, Flexbox thing. Alt. And. Oh, you know what? I can't use. There we go. Yeah. All right. So that's sweet. Um, let's drop the width. Fifty percent. Fifty. In order to do this well, I need to check the dimensions of the six hundred by six twenty four. So I want three hundred. By 312 to keep it perfect um, looks good we're going to want to turn off borders oh I don't need taco open anymore so but I'm gonna want to put this under I'm gonna put this under a div which is basically for those of you who don't know that's just basically a container um, to kind of keep things together. And the reason I'm putting that into a div is so when I'm mobile optimizing this, uh, I can class uh, top image mobile. Uh, that way I can, let's see. That way, man, I'm not thinking. Uh, Damn it, where was it going? Oh, that way I can keep that image there when it's at a certain... Oh, man, I can't think. When it's at a certain size. All right, so this was... Um... And let's just make sure this actually worked. I like to type in like a border just to make sure it actually is working. Top image mobile, what did I do wrong here? 
Oh, I didn't link the style sheet yet. Duh. Perfect. All right, so now we got our border here, uh, and we're going to jump back to main styles, and we're going to take that off because we really don't want that. We're going to set the padding to zero, the margin to auto, and the text align to center. And now that is perfectly centered. Uh, background color red. Uh, we're going to want a custom color for that. Color picker. Let's go with kind of a darker red like that. Kind of nice. Make it a little bit. More like that, yeah. Um, go back. Gotta reopen that preview. And the reason I keep am keeping this small is because oh, come on, dude. There we go. Why aren't you loading? All right, you know what? Let's just leave that. I'll finish uploading it later. What the hell? Um, I don't know why that's doing that. Let's quit Chrome completely. And I still can't. What the fuck? Nice. I like the dark theme better. Awesome. Dark theme is so much easier on the eyes, and I like it so much more. Okay. I already like brackets more. Just in terms of organization and the quick complete stuff, I'm loving brackets. Uh, definitely think about ditching taco. Even though I love taco, um, I don't know why I can't preview this, and it's really bugging me. What are we at for time? Holy crap, 46 minutes already, and we've only set up. I'm going to end this part here uh, just because i got to make this part one, I guess, um, uh, because this has gone too long. But check out the uh, uh, part part two, which I'm going I'm going to try and do a full walkthrough of the website, aside from minor changes. And when I do tiny little changes, I'll tell you what they are. Um, but I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye, everybody. Stay melted.